What's going on guys, Rob from ClicksGeek, and in today's video, I wanna walk you through Google's ad extensions. I wanna go through each one and just show you how they work and how they're supposed to be used, or at least how I use them, and they're basically just bigger real estate to take up on the top of Google. So you wanna be utilizing as many of them as possible, okay? So if you log into your account, you're gonna see here we're in our demo campaign. Again, we're doing, uh, I think we're in the fence campaign today. So we're going to come up here to ads and extensions. And I don't even know if I have any extensions set up in this campaign, but if we do, we're gonna delete them. I'm gonna start from scratch anyway. It looks like we got some stuff. All right, so let me just remove all these first. And uh, we'll get going from the beginning. So. Let's, let's run through all of the options first. You have site links, you have call out extensions, you have structured snippet extension, call extension, lead form extension, this is pretty cool, just rolled out. Location extension, affiliate location extension, price extension, app extension, promotion extension. All right, we're gonna go through each one of these and how they work. So site extension, let's go into that first essentially looks like this so there's going to be links that you can have people pass around to your different pages of your website or different landing landing pages if you're using landing pages so site links they let you basically write text for whatever you want in descriptions now you really should be doing descriptions I, I i'm i'm the biggest violator of this rule i really don't write descriptions but for the purpose of making your ad take up more space on in real estate and, and google search results you really should be doing it so i highly recommend you all do so site link let's just say we're in a fencing campaign let's just say we're uh bbb accredited something like that our company our company has a stellar reputation with an A plus rating, something like that, right? So you can do that, and it'll show your uh, show your link, and usually it shows the text below that. I'm really sure why it's not doing that right now. Oh, probably because it's on mobile. So let's just try. Oh, it's still not showing it. Well, that is strange. Probably because I don't leave it all here. All right, let's try that. Nada. All right. Either way, it's going to show your text. I'm not really sure why it's not doing it right now. Oh, here we go. So it's showing it here. BBB accredited. Our company has stellar reputation rating. All right, so that's what it's going to look like. You can kind of get an idea there. I'm not really sure why it's not showing it here on mobile and desktop. That's strange. But uh, yeah, so that's what it's going to look like. So you can just fill out essentially how I use the site links. I use these as additional call to actions. All right, so you want to use these to just just hit people with more call to actions. And you can, you're not really supposed to use all the links to go to the same page. So if you're using a landing page for your campaign, Google really doesn't want you to do that. Uh, most people do it anyway, but they want you to basically use this these links to pass them around your website to different pages if you're using a homepage website type thing, like a regular website. So that's ideally what it's supposed to be used for. Uh, marketers kind of just stuff it with call to actions. You know, call now for, or, or you can do something like a over the phone estimate or over the phone quote or... Uh, five-star customer reviews or you can put whatever you want here I, I recommend you just use it as additional sections for call to action right just to, to hit people with more benefits and stuff like that so let's get out of here and we'll go into the next one which is call out so this is just some some text more benefit CTA type text that comes right after your description in the ad so let's say we do uh, Five star reviews, free estimates, over the phone quote. I mean, obviously, uh, guys, I'm just doing this to show you. So you you got to really put thought into your call to actions. So don't just do what I'm doing here. <laughs> All right, uh, located in you know put your city name here, something like that. So you'll see in the ads here they just kind of add their like little bullet points so this is just more 
Oh, I spelled that wrong. So it's just more call to action space you can use to just list out more benefits of why someone should click your ad and visit your landing page or call you directly from the ad, which I think we're going to next. It should be call extension. Oh, nope, structured snippet. So this is pretty cool too. It's an, just another layer of different things you can do. So you can do, if you're a hotel or something like that, or you can do amen, uh, amenities, brands, courses, degree programs, destinations, featured hotels, insurance coverage, different insurance types, models, you know, if it's a car type thing, neighborhoods, different neighborhoods around a location you're servicing, um, just service catalog, which, which is the most common one. So if you're like, a, let's say you're, what do we have? A fencing campaign we're in. So we could do wood fences, chain link. Uh, what's the other type? Vinyl, vinyl fencing. You know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You want to add as many as possible. I think it lets you. Yeah. So it kind of caps you out here. So you really do want to try and put some thought into this and add as much as possible. Because keep in mind, guys. Again. Ad extensions, what we really want to do with these is just take up real estate. We want to just dominate the real estate on the search results, okay? So that's why we're doing this and we're trying to like take our time and fill these out and do all that stuff. All right, next up is call extension. So this essentially just drops your phone number right here. So let's just say you're... Now this is going to be a button on someone's phone that they can just click the call right from Google search results um, page, which is really cool. And you can track your, you have to turn reporting on for this, so you have to make sure that's turned on so you can track. Um, you can see here I already have call extension conversion action set up. And if you need to see how to set up conversion actions, I will, um, I will uh, drop a, actually look above you right now, I'll flash a, a link that's going to go to our setting up um, conversion actions. Just check that out. I'll, I'll do that. And uh, if you click that, you can go watch that video too. So you want to set up your conversion action, and then you have an option here to increase your bid adjustment for this. So if, let's just read it. Bid adjustments let you increase or decrease your bids for certain targeting methods, such as location or device. This helps you gain more control over where your ad is shown. So this is something like if we want to increase to get more calls or something like that. And obviously you can choose device preference. We want to do mobile because we want we really want to click the calls. I don't really care about showing the, the phone number on desktop. I know that's kind of taboo. People are like, oh, why would you want to show the phone number? Somebody could call from the search results page. But I really want them to actually just click the call. I don't want them to um, try and Nobody's nobody's gonna look at the search results page and just call you. I mean, they're gonna most of these people are searching on their phones anyway. At least in the campaigns that we're building are mostly mobile. But you, like I said, I usually do mobile, but you can do both, so it doesn't really matter. So let's just say we wanted to uh, we want to do mobile. We would just do this and hit save. Then just create another. We just go back and hit another call extension and create another number, exact same, and just check this off, and it would be desktop. So it's really simple. Something to note though that's very important. Whatever number you choose here has to be on your landing page or website or wherever the wherever the campaign is going to the URL all right Google's bots crawl and check that and if this number that you have here is not found anywhere on the landing page or, or website that you're using in the campaign it will be disapproved and Google won't run it so keep that in mind that if you create a tracking number or something like that to put here that you put that tracking number somewhere on the website I usually just put them in the footer of the website something like that all right so that's calls Next up, let's go, where are we going? Lead form extensions. This is pretty cool. Um, there's a lot that goes into this. Let's just kind of, uh, I should probably like freeze this so you guys can read it because it's a lot of information. You have to like agree to all this stuff that you're basically you're not going to spam people and you have to agree to their compliance and stuff like that. So if we just accept that, <coughs> you, you can do your call to action. So you can do get a quote, apply now, sign up, contact us, subscribe, download, book now, which is pretty cool, and uh, stuff like that. So if we just did like, let's say we're the fence guys, which we are, so we're doing get quote. You can write some text here. <clears throat> Let's do an example. Need a fence. Call us today. Something like that. I don't know. You know, take your time. 
do it right, but I'm just kind of showing you what it looks like here. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, headline. So um, you can do your business name, let's just say XYZ Fencing Description Headline. Get a free quote, fencing quote, whatever. You want to, like I said, I'm just trying to show you what it looks like when it's filled out, so make sure you put some thought into it. <clears throat> Description. Uh, you know, wood fences, chain link, we do it all. Whatever. <clears throat> so that's what you. That's what your form is going to look like here. If someone clicks, so if someone sees your little thing here and they click that, it's going to pop up to your form. And here's where you're going <coughs> to. Excuse me. Sorry, guys. Allergy season. Um, here's what you're, they're going to see. So you can do the name, uh, full name, or first name, last name. You can you can capture their zip code, their phone number, their email, and all that stuff. And uh, put your privacy policy URL here. Create a form submission message after it's sent. You can make a little thank you or whatever. Now, the only thing is with this is the leads, you can't really – there's no way to, at least as of right now, I believe there's no way to get notified if someone – submits one of these lead forms you actually have to log into the campaign to see if the leads are just stored in the adwords campaign so you're not going to get an email notification is what i'm saying if someone fills this out unless it's from adwords <coughs> which most people don't even have set up but that you're not just keep that in mind like if you if you if you run these types of lead ads that google is going to store the leads in your um in your actual adwords campaign all right I'm sure there is different ways to set up webhooks and stuff like that to import the data somewhere else, but that's for a much more advanced video than today. Location extension. This is simply connecting your Google My Business account, basically your Maps, your Google Maps stuff, connecting that to your AdWords account. <coughs> Excuse me. So, so if you're connecting your AdWords account to your Google, your Google Maps account, Google My Business, you'll be able to show the location of your business and your Google your Google Maps listing stuff right here and you'll be able to run ads or show ads in your in your Google in uh, Google's Maps section so that's that's really important you definitely want to do that you want definitely want to set that up affiliate location extension I don't really mess with too much um, it's something for I guess like retailers or stuff I don't really know honestly I don't really I've never even used it auto dealers so I'm not going to even pretend to know what how to use this correctly because I don't. I've never used it once. Um, we do only lead generation type stuff, so we don't really mess around with the retail, stuff like that. Price extensions, this is pretty cool. So this is what it will look like in Google, and you can set different, um, different pricings and stuff like that and give specials. So you can do like percentages or <clears throat> anything like that, service tiers services pretty cool no qualifier and then you, it's just another way to work in a special offer that makes your ad stick out that's really uh, I would highly recommend you set up all of these pretty cool next up is app extension we don't mess with this either um, unless you're running mobile apps but that's you know you're not gonna be watching my trainings if you're doing that kind of stuff because we only do lead generation for local businesses and that's pretty much all we do that and uh, promotion extension this is a good one too it's actually a great one so this is where you can um, you can add specials and discounts and um, stuff like that and it just look at the real estate this thing takes up too like imagine having all of these set up like it just takes up so much real estate and it's sharp. You're definitely going to get higher click-through rates when you, the more of the stuff you have. So I highly recommend you set all of this stuff up. So you can do like a promo code or something. It's really cool. So that's another thing you can do. Um, it's kind of self-explanatory. Just when you come in here, just start going through these. Just kind of read everything and fill it out. Like there's little question mark checkboxes here if you're confused. Hover over. It pops up. And it explains everything you need to do. So I hope this video was helpful. It was a very short. I know I'm just burning through these. I just kind of want to just run through each of them and just give you the gist of how they work and how to use them. Obviously, guys, you should be using as many of these as possible. And every single campaign we work on, I'm always using at least site link, call out, structured, call, um, and in location. I try. I mean, it depends if the client has a Google Maps account. But if they do, we're always trying to get this because this is a big one too. 
for driving local stuff. And um, that's all I got for you today. So if you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, obviously, always, as always, drop them in the comment section below this video. And I'll dive in there and, and do the best I can. Besides that, guys, um, check out the description. I'll drop a link in there to our free ebook, Five Hacks to Increase Your ROI with AdWords. And uh, I'll catch you, I'll catch you in the next video.